I absolutely love horde mode shootings. In fact, I have most likely killed thousands, nay millions of different AI monsters, ranging from zombies to aliens, to locusts, to even orcs. However, now I get to take on a new threat as I get to lay waste of entire armies of medieval knights with my AK-47. In comes Kingmakers, an action strategy hybrid where you get to bring an arsenal of modern day firepower to battlefields of yesteryear. And it's not just modern day firepower that you get to play with in these ancient battles. Okay, okay, is it just me or did anyone else think of Army of Darkness when they saw that clip? century yeah! Yeah! so yeah this game is pretty much going to be over the top and it just looks like plain old-fashioned fun as we get to use our shotgun machine guns grenades sniper rifles a pickup truck and even an attack helicopter now why the action definitely looks goofy and completely exaggerated there's more to this game than just mindless fun. As the game is going to have RTS elements, we actually get to control our own army of knights, issuing commands for them to follow and carry out. Just look at what someone from the studio happened to say about the strategy element to this game. The game is set in 1461 England, and there'll be lots of RTS elements such as placing buildings, collecting resources, recruiting troops, giving them orders, upgrades, defending your base, etc. Which you can seamlessly switch to and from with the third person, gunman view, anytime. Which I think is pretty cool, as this does open the doorway for complexity and death for the game, if it is done correctly. Plus, let's face it, we're from the future. Our brains are way more complex and our battle strategies would be top notch. So why would we not want to push around and order these peasants to do our bidding? All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick. All right, guys, all joking and silliness aside, the devs have stated that the game is not all fun and games. After all, it does appear as if the game is going to introduce time travel and we're going back into actual real world events. So here's what the developers had to say about the story in Kingmakers. There's definitely a story. We've actually done a ton of research into the time period. Henry IV, Henry V, Owain Glendor, James I of Scotland, the first one, not the Stuart one, are all characters in the game. So yes, there's actually a story mode to this title, and it does seem like it takes itself somewhat seriously. While the concept may seem very fun and wacky, it still has a very serious setting and combat. The game world, lore, soldiers, all take themselves very seriously. In the world they live in, and for them, their reality is no laughing matter. Which makes complete sense. After all, from our perspective and this trailer, the game just looks like wacky, goofy fun. However, if you were actually a character in that world and that setting, your perspective on the situation would be very different. However, let's move on and talk about the setting itself. So, if you're not a fan of the medieval England type of atmosphere, the devs have mentioned possibly adding other time periods such as Japan, Ancient Rome, and pre-contact Aztecs. Overall, this thing just looks insanely fun, which is a very good thing. After all, at the end of the day, gaming is about having fun. And this game is not just going to be fun in a solo experience, but apparently it's also going to offer co-op. At the moment, the game does support up to four players, but they have mentioned the possibility of going higher if they get access to dedicated servers, which kind of makes me wonder how the RTS elements will work in a co-op session. Will the host of the game control the entire army or can any player take control and issue commands? 
it's something I kind of want more details on. So yeah, the gameplay looks super fun. I love the fact that it's going to support both solo and co-op experiences. Now having the game offer co-op capabilities is that the only community aspect the developers want to have with this title. They want this game to be fully moddable, which is extremely cool because I cannot wait to see what type of crazy crap the modders come up with. However, I'm going to be frank. If this game comes out and it really is fully moddable and I don't see one single Army of Darkness mod, I'm going to be very disappointed. <sighs> Groovy. All right, so you may be wondering, how is the performance going to be with this title? After all, there is a lot of stuff on the screen. Well, I gotta be honest, I have absolutely no idea because I've yet to play it. But the developers have stated they've tested the game on the Steam Deck and it actually works on the deck. And they've talked about that they're hoping to bring the game to consoles. In fact, they've even said they're not even worried about porting the game to the Series S. So between them having faith the game will run smoothly on the Steam Deck and the Xbox Series S, I think it's safe to assume the game's optimization will most likely be pretty decent. At least I hope so, because I'm really tired of games releasing broken and in piss poor optimization states. But I would love to hear what you all think. Do you guys think Kingmakers looks fun? Is it something you plan to put on your wish list? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm gonna get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.